they left you for someone who does not compare to you at all. Please scroll on if this doesn't resonate. You may be getting some unexpected communication. I think you already have if this is for you. Be kind to someone who does not deserve it. There's, there's some reason why this person wants to provoke you. Now, it doesn't make any sense to me, really, because it doesn't seem like you did anything wrong here. You were my rock. Okay. They're angry because they... Okay, okay. They're angry because they somehow feel that you pushed them into this third-party choice. What? Let's let me get some more cards. Sorry, I'm not trying to upset you. It's upsetting me, obviously. <laughs> no, it doesn't have to be that way. Look, I'm just trying to acknowledge this and move on. Let's not dwell in this. I don't, don't want to lose you. Okay, it sounds like they already did lose you. That's what it sounds like. You are the one that got away. You are the one who got away. It sounds like they pushed you away. Um, what in the world? It's like they... Emotional exhaustion. Oh, okay, okay. Emotional exhaustion. Watching you. Not what you think. Another level. Okay. They are emotionally exhausted by watching you. <laughs> what? And the person they're with is... This person is just emotionally exhausted all the way around, okay? They are driving themselves crazy. They're burning the candle at both ends. I think this is someone who actually... When I say that, they could be working several jobs. Like, I just don't think this person knows what's going on. This is a very chaotic situation. But they left you for somebody who is just in deep, deep chaos. And they want to take you to the next level with them. Okay, that's what I'm getting. I'm getting this person is in some huge regret. Huge regret. Your strength intimidates people. They're intimidated to come forward. Because, okay, this strength, and it reminds me of this, you were my rock. You were my rock. Not you are, but you were. Oh. So that, that makes the, the cut even deeper. You know, like, this was someone who I don't think you ever thought was going to leave. You know, whoever does think someone's going to leave. But, I mean, I think... This, okay, they felt emotionally exhausted by you, but now they realize they were the source of their own emotional exhaustion. You won't let be alone if you want to be. I'm getting that this person wants to come in with some kind of offer. Is it an offer you want? Don't know. Next card, self-medicating. Um, mm, this is why you may not know. Like, yeah, I'm talk when I say the chaos, that this doesn't surprise me, this self-medicating card. Like, I don't necessarily think it has to be what's in the picture here, but it's something along those lines or something just something that fills that void i mean they really okay that's part of why they chose the third party oh okay it was self-medicating okay the third party was supplying them with something supplying them with something okay hmm. something that you did not supply and obviously oh wow lesson learned star seed Mm, they know not to do this to you again, okay? They know that this is karma for what they did to you. They, they, they sit back and they know they hurt someone very special. This is a lesson learned by them. And that's why this whole, not what you think, like, um, they, you made them drop the mask. They dropped the mask for you. Wow. And they can't drop it for someone else, for this other person. They're really watching. This is a very interesting reading. I don't know if I've ever gotten this type of energy come through before <laughs> but this, it's i'm telling you it's somebody in chaos who wishes they could just come right back they want your kindness i mean they they long for your kindness put it that way they long for you to just be a part of their life again you said healthy boundaries okay this popped right out which tells me this person did not have healthy boundaries with you before you have excellent ideas you have nothing to hide Ooh. okay <laughs> What, okay, and this is about hiding, okay? They're going to come in, I don't know what they're coming in with, but just know that you have nothing to hide, and it's time for you to set healthy boundaries with them. Um, be open and honest with them. You have excellent ideas, and I think um, they miss that. They want your ideas right now. There's something they think you can help them with. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Oh, okay, but they're hoping you're alone right now. Seriously, they got themselves in a bad situation. Somehow, why are they blaming you? Anyway, you know what? I'm just going to end it there. This is someone who I think you know who this is for. I think if this is for you, you know who it is. The main thing I need to tell you is that set healthy boundaries. Don't let them make you feel like you have anything to hide. Don't let them coerce you. Because this is a, someone who also is in a desperate situation. Desperate. When people are desperate, they'll get coercive. They can. I mean, I'm not saying everybody, but, you know, and I'm, that's the vibe I'm getting, though. But you're going to get out of this. Look, you have nothing to worry about. I'm just here to guide you along your path. You have nothing to hide. You set healthy boundaries. Nothing to worry about. Nothing to fear. You set healthy boundaries. It is spoken. It is written. And so it is. Amen.